this kit did not come with instructions and so um, I was kind of winging it for some of it. Hey everyone, I'm Daniel and this is Chasing Edges. Today I'm going to be working on a project with my 2019 Husqvarna FE350. I'm going to be installing this Nomad, A, I think it's Nomad Adventure, but Nomad ADV uh, skid plate and toolbox. I'm super excited about this one. I've been waiting for this in the mail along with a pannier rack for my bike for quite a while. It took a long time in customs and um, the company was on back order for some of their stuff as well for a while. Anyways, I've got the parts out of the bag that it came with. Um, I've, I've kind of got it pre-assembled a little bit, some of the pieces. Um, the, bit, the, the skid plate and the toolbox come pre-assembled in the packaging. Now note, I did go through and tighten up all the bolts that come on it. There were a bunch of them that were loose, and so that may be something you wanna check out as well. The gist of it, at least the pieces that I understand well of how this is put together, is you've got this plate that goes with these spacers and acts as something of a um, clamp that clamps to the front part of your frame. Then there are two bolts that come through the toolbox and into the frame where the stock like plastic skid plate bolts on. And then back here in the back, the stock skid plate actually has a hook that kind of hooks onto the frame. Um, this skid plate comes with a U-bolt that's gonna come down and then bolt on from the bottom as well. Now, the part that's a little bit confusing for me is it came with two additional bolts as well as um, a rubber bumper of some sort. Now I think that this bolt would work on one side or the other because on the side that has the door for opening the toolbox where you can install a cable either up to your brake or your shifter I think the bolts could be for that. So I'm gonna go pull that stock skid plate off the bike real quick and bring it over here. Okay, so here are the two stock bolts. I'll hold on to these just in case I need them for anything and throw them into my toolkit. Um, this is the stock skid plate. And as I mentioned, it comes up over the frame and kind of just clamps on right there. And then this will pivot in and out um, and, then, and then just bolts through these two holes. So those two holes line up with the two outside holes on this um, toolbox. So the first thing that I'm gonna do so I can get it hooked up, open up the toolbox so that I can get my bolts inside of the toolbox um, to come through here and clamp onto things. When you pull your door off, you wanna be really careful that the plastic washers that are on there stay on your bolts. All right, next I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hook up these bolts that go into the stock locations on the frame first. Next, I'm gonna try and get this down in through the frame and into the bottom of the skid plate. Okay, now I'm gonna work on sliding this skid plate all the way up in the front and tightening down these bolts. I'm doing that before I tighten the bolts to the U-bolt on the bottom so that I can adjust the spacers there and make sure everything fits the way I want it to. Okay, I am ready for the last step, which is to connect this last clamp up here from the toolbox around the two sides of that uh, front frame. That far side went on without too much trouble. Push the clamp out of the way, stick the spacer down in there, and onto the bolt and work on moving the clamp 
back up and into place on this side. There, I got them to line up. I'm just trying to finger tighten. And then I'm just gonna walk around the other side of the bike and make sure that it's hugging the frame good on both sides. Yep, that looks great. So I'm just gonna tighten up now and I'll be done. Well, that's everything. As you can see, I ended up fitting two oil filters and my tool bag into there. That's it for this video. I hope it's helpful. Thank you to Nomad Adventure. They are not sponsoring this video. Um, I did buy the um, skid plate and pannier rack uh, with my own money, but I'm happy I did. And I'll be back with another video installing the pannier racks.